Hi everyone, this is Matt and today I'm going to show you how to send and receive a fax from your Gmail account. And this could go for any email account, doesn't have to be Gmail. I'm just doing it because Gmail is what I use. So, you know, I was doing some research on this subject and I was disgusted at how bad the tutorials were for sending and receiving faxes. It, it seems like everyone is trying to work some sort of angle these days. So here's the honest truth. I hope you enjoy it. I hope it helps. It's definitely a cool feature. The first thing I want to talk about is receiving faxes for free. You can do that using one of two websites, either k7.net or efax.com forward slash free. There are a few drawbacks. The biggest drawback being not being able to send. So I'd ask you to just hang tight and watch to the end of this video before going there. If you do need to send a fax, or you want to receive faxes to a number that resides within your own state or country, let's face it, uh, if you're running a small business, then you do need to. Image is everything, right? Then you're going to have to have a fax service. Until Google comes out with a way to directly send a fax using Google Talk for free, this is just what we have to do. So just to be clear, you are going to have to sign up for a service, but there's a way around it. If you only need to send and receive for a short time, you can do a free trial. There are several different services that offer sending and receiving through Gmail. Ring Central and eFax are two of those. There are some others out there that you can use, but in order to use the Gmail fax type stuff, you know, sending and receiving through Gmail, well, they usually charge more money. For instance, HelloFax touts themselves as this you know, savior and they've got all this free fax sending. Well, they charge 10 bucks a month where you can get Ring Central for an unheard of 6.59 a month using the link below this video. So once you have your fax service and you can pause this video and grab it now if you like, then it's gonna be time to send a fax. To send one, all you gotta do is open up your Gmail click compose and then enter any fax number that is the fax number where you want it to go in the exact same place that you would enter a recipient email. Simple enough, right? Once you have their fax number in there, you enter the at sign and the extension of the fax servicing company. So for instance, if the company was ring central, it would be at rcfax.com. So let's say the number is area code 801-401-3296, you would enter 801-401-3296 at rcfax.com. Then you attach the document and add a subject line and press send. That's all there is to it. I don't know what all the confusion is. Anyway, I hope you like this and I hope that it helped in your quest to send a fax. If I was able to help, please subscribe and give me a big thumbs up. All right, we'll see you on the internet.